right, scumbags who went in my closet. See this? I label everything. You see this? It says notes, outpatient, and meetings. This is from 2011. Okay? When I was at the Princeton Hill, I had to do a stupid thing, which I was set up. Okay? I was set up big time. And these assholes are going to go down for every time I have to find more notes taken. This was full. I, used, I went to all kinds of note meetings. Okay? They took out... Look at all them pages they were ripped out. See all them? All the pages they ripped out of my book. Where they, where they ripped it out at? From what time? I don't know. But they, uh, they ripped out all my stuff. From um, the... Thing. This is it. Right here. Look, see that? It should have been 16 years, but... You know what? It should have been even longer than that. I shouldn't even have started. But that's okay. I, I'm getting over the fact. Well, they went in. Okay. I have wrote this note. To myself. To myself. Did you go in here and steal this? It says, my mom made me feel like she didn't love me growing up. Okay. Now, to the world. If anybody has this little note. Because everybody knows, as you know. And I'm sitting there in, co in college class, I take myself little notes and my feelings. So if you want to take all my notes and my thoughts and feelings and use it for your own benefit, I'm going to make sure the judge shoves every freaking note you got up your asses. Do you hear me? See that? Anything. It says, I haven't been able to hold a job for more than four years. Because of my sickness? No. Not because of my sickness. Because I was under, I was having a nervous breakdown. Because I was alone in this world. Okay? Do I have to go over this through the world and explain so that you guys can't put it in your own little fucking words for the judge? Okay? Here we go. I ruined my first marriage. Well, obviously, I did not ruin my first marriage. We both did. One thing, he cheated on me from the beginning. Lost my trust from the beginning. And then, of course, we lost a couple children. And I was going through postpartum justice. Postpartum depression. Blah, blah, blah. Next. Second. It says... And I'm ruining my second marriage. Well, now I realize I wasn't ruining my second marriage. They ruined me in 2002 when they decided they wanted I was a game to them. I am a romance scam to them. They wanted my life. Waked up. I woke up and smelled the goddamn coffee after they stopped. After I, la I stopped allowing them to drug me up and cloud my friggin' mind. Okay. I don't blame them. It's all my fault. I can't even hold a friend down. No. You know what? I asked God to protect me from my enemies. And guess what I did? I lost all my friends because my friends didn't believe in the God and the religion that I believed in. That's why I didn't have any friends growing up. Okay? That's why. Now, next assholes what else do i have to explain to you okay now they took out all kinds of notes out of here the whole entire thing now i took notes everywhere as i went i went to uh meetings outpatient meetings here we go um this is my first day um 35 days here we go thursday september 8th when i first came out of Seabrook House, staying clean and sober at the Williamstown Pfeiffer Center. Staying clean and sober. Page 93, just for today. Judging in the rooms, coming back, not living at home with my husband at the time. At the time. 
September 8th, 2011. Go to hell. And uh, if anything, Judge White would never have have said what she said in the courtroom if she absolutely knew the truth and I would not have had to been out of the house for two months. Because they set me up. Another one, Williamstown Church, September 9th, 2011. Westville, 2011. Some stupid, oh, Becky. Oh, lovely Becky. Yeah. Oh, she's a wonderful person. I remember that bitch. She's probably helping Danielle, right? Okay, and then this was the first, the first day at the 35 day Princeton House outpatient. They tried to do this shit and pull this bullshit with my son Billy. Same fucking pattern they did with my son Billy. They pulled, they, they already done with me. So they're not going to get over on my son and say that he's crazy and it's a biological disorder. Like you did with me to the world, okay? Process group. All them stupid bitches that they want to do with the mind control, the forced speech going into, I went into the women's trauma part after a couple weeks because of the loss of my daughter. And all those kid, the women in there were a lot of different other issues than what I was going through. I, I was there for grief. They were there for other things. Stress management, Janet, she's annoying. I did not like her at all. Didn't like her. Vince was pretty funny. Okay. <sighs> Janet was very boring. But, like I said, they ripped out so much papers on me out of here. It's, it's sickening. It was sickening. Or, Jill was the art teacher or something. Yeah, so they did they did a number on and this is 2011 women's trauma 2011 that's where I got all my um, a lot of my notes from don't sweat the small stuff Linda mindfulness effectively I got a lot of my my notes from there. I wonder if if he didn't take it from me. I should have it right here. My folder. Here it is. All right. Praise be to God. Hopes in front of me and my children. See this? Coping skills. I have a whole folder of stuff that I use for my own benefit. Soft talk. Talk. Defense mechanisms. My defense mechanisms. Using coping thoughts. Praise be to God. I will keep praising God and having hope and faith in God. Things that my husband always called me. Look, an idiot. So I have to retrain my brain because I'm not an idiot. I'm very intelligent. That was the problem when you people know, think. You can't use a washing machine, right? I do too know how to use a washing uh, machine. Yeah. I told you a thousand times you overloaded it. Well, I almost broke the dryer by putting five tons of towels in it. Well, I took, you I only did half of it at first, yeah. remember? The thing would even turn around all the way. You try to break the strap and turn the drum. Praise God. Uh, I did, I took, I only put half of it. Of it. I stuck it. half of it in the first time. God has nothing to do with it. It's common sense. I put half 